Hello friends, welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. In this video, we show how to convert a physical SIM to eSIM or embedded SIM on iOS device. Here this video helps you to convert a physical Geo SIM to eSIM. An eSIM have so many advantages than a physical SIM. No extra device for an additional number. Just activate your eSIM, and you get an additional phone number on your device. With that, you have separate business and personal numbers on the same phone. Allows quick and easy activation, offers dual SIM support, and enables seamless switch between your mobile numbers, all in a matter of a few taps. It provides more security than ordinary physical SIM, because it can't be removed easily while your device is stolen or lost. Your phone is always connected to network and you can track your phone by using your Apple ID. eSIM also helps you to improve the battery life too. Follow these four simple steps to convert a physical SIM to eSIM. Step 1. Initiate eSIM request via SMS. Step 2. Send your eSIM or EID number via SMS. Step 3. Share your consent through SMS and also on IVR call. Step 4. Install data plan on iOS device to activate eSIM. Please don't skip any steps. All these four steps are mandatory to complete eSIM converting process. To start the converting process, make sure you have an eSIM compatible device with you and also check your email ID as register with your GEO number. For checking the device compatibility, log into www.geo.com, scroll down and open eSIM, then select your smartphone model, then you will find your device is compatible or not. Select brand, and then select model. Then let's start the converting process. Find the EID and IMEI number in your device. Let's see how to find the EID and IMEI number for your iOS device. Go to Settings, tap on General and open About. Scroll down to find the 32-digit EID and 15-digit IMEI number. You will also find an another IMEI2 number, but you will not use the second IMEI number here. Note down the EID and IMEI number. Let's start the eSIM activation process. Please note that you have to complete all the steps to activate the eSIM on your device. Please don't skip any of the steps here. Also please ensure that the device is connected to a Wi-Fi network or mobile hotspot during the entire process. First step is to initiate eSIM request via SMS. For doing this, open Messages and compose a new message and type Get eSIM space 32-digit EID number space then enter 15-digit IMEI number and send that message to 199. If you get a rejection reply for that SMS by asking to update your email ID, then check if your email ID is registered with Geo number. By opening my Geo app and tap the three dash icon on top left corner, then tap on profile and settings, then open profile. Check the email ID. If you want to change or add, tap on change and enter your new email ID. An OTP will sent on the requested email ID for validation. Enter the OTP and click submit, and your email ID will be updated. Please verify the EID and IMEI number before sending the message, don't make any mistakes. On sending the correct EID and IMEI number to 199, you will receive SMS on your GEO number with eSIM activation details and procedure. That SMS also includes a 19-digit virtual eSIM number. Copy that 19-digit eSIM number. Then open Messages and compose a new message. Then type SIM CHG, space, then enter the 19-digit eSIM number and send that message to 199. Please verify the eSIM number before sending the message, don't make any mistakes. After sending the correct eSIM number, you will receive a confirmation SMS and email. Then you will have to wait for 2 hours for processing the request. After 2 hours you will receive another SMS and email for requesting the consent for processing the eSIM request. After receiving the consent message, open message and compose a new message and type 1 and send to 183. Then you will receive a confirmation SMS and email. You will also receive a notification on iOS device, mentioning that your Geo data plan is ready to install. Please don't open or clear that notification at this time. You will open or install that plan only after completing the final steps. If you don't receive the notification, don't worry you can find the Geo data plan profile in the settings. Within 10 minutes of sending the consent SMS, you will receive an IVR call on your GEO number. After attending the call press 1 to confirm your consent and process the eSIM request. After confirm the consent via IVR, a confirmation SMS and email will be sent to you. 
In case if you have missed the IVR call or disconnected before confirming the consent, don't worry, you will receive another call within 3 hours. As soon as you receive the final confirmation from Geo, your physical SIM will stop working. Go for the final step. Before doing the final step, please make sure that your iOS device is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot. For the final process you need to install a data plan on your iOS device. For installing data plan, tap on the notification and open Geo Data Plan ready to be installed. Then click on Install Data Plan, click Continue. Please wait for a few seconds to complete the activating process. Your Geo eSIM will get successfully activated and you can see the data plans under Mobile Data section. You can start calling and browse internet on your iOS device now. If you have not received the notification for data profile configuration or you cleared the existing notifications, don't worry. Please go to Settings and select Mobile Data. Tap on Add Data Plan and select Geo. Then select Add Data Plan. Click Continue to activating the eSIM. It will take some time to complete the activation process. SMS services on your Geo number will nor be available for 24 hours post eSIM activation. Attention please, never select Remove Data Plan. This will permanently delete your eSIM profile from your device and all the services will stop working. If you have accidentally removed the data plan, then please visit your nearest Geo store with your ID proof to order a new request for eSIM. Unfortunately, in this case it will not be possible to configure the new eSIM via SMS process, so please careful about the data plan profile and please don't remove it from your device. Hope you like this video, and it will helps. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.